All right, so today we're going to be using just the one inch brush, the palette knife, and I believe that's a number three fan brush, a liner brush, and we'll use a two inch brush. So let's start out right now and we'll just take a little bit of this. Uh, Welcome to Kimcast Art, and today we're going to do our very first wet on wet painting. And we're going to be doing the painting on an 11 by 14 canvas board. So what we're going to be doing is mostly some blue mountains, some trees, and some water. And we want to cover some of the basic things for someone that's beginning how to paint. So today we're going to be using Prussian Blue, Sap Green, Ivory Black, Van Dyke Brown, Lazarin Crimson, Yellow Okra, a little bit of yellow, cad yellow is what I usually use, and some titanium white. Also we'll be using some liquid white, which I've already uh, primed the canvas with. And of course, if you haven't done it before, we use your liquid white, just kind of just do some couple of big X's and spread it out there real evenly, and then touch it with your finger, and it should look just like a fingerprint. Just like that. When you got it like that, it's right. If you get a little bit too much, take a little paper towel and just wipe it off a little bit, then go back up it with your brush. And that's all you really need to do. So let's get started. Just like that. Push it right down in there. Get a little more paint if you need it. Same with the other side, find that horizon line. You can always draw a line across the middle if you want to, just like that. But come from, from the edges, that way we want to work that paint toward the edge so we can leave that middle a bit lighter. I should be using my bigger pat, my bigger uh, easel, but uh, we'll go ahead and stay with this one. Okay, bring them up. Some of them dark spots go right in there with the light spots. You may want to take and make the edges just a little bit darker. Right in there. Grab a little more paint. A little bit more darker in there. I think I'd like to kind of go along the horizon just a little bit darker on this one here. Don't worry about anything you make a little boo boo, we'll fix that. No big deal. Just bring it down. Make sure you get that paint all the way down. I got these little grooves in this particular easel. It makes it a little bit harder. This is what I usually use for acrylics and sometimes portraits. So after you get done with that, just wipe your brush off a little bit. If you made a little bit of a problem up here, like I just did, you can get rid of it right there. Just kind of go across. And then do the same with the water. Just very lightly brush across it. Just very lightly. Just like a feather. That's all you need to do. So we'll wash our brush. And what I use is I have one of the old Bob Ross wires that go in the bottom. I'm not even sure they even sell them anymore, but I believe they do. Probably could find one online. But it's got a little wire in here. I'm not sure I can get you to see it or not. But just go across like that. And it gets all of that loose paint thinner out. After you're done with that, draw your brush off. And I use paper towels. You may want to use rags if you want to, but I use paper towels for that. So Get nice and dry, and we'll be using that again momentarily. So let's first start off with the, uh, let's put a few clouds in, just for the fun of it. So we're going to take our fan brush, make sure it's good and clean. 
and we'll get some white paint and we're just going to kind of pull the paint i'm not sure if you can see the camera or not but through the camera but i'm just pulling the paint like this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the corner of the brush and then i'm going to push that brush in and i'm going to make little circular motions just like that and i'm going to just push it along and when i get where i don't have any more paint i'll just grab the other side and just kind of fluff it around just like that grab you some more paint let's put maybe a little tiny one right here which probably won't show up because the mountains most likely will cover some of them but maybe we'll just make it a little higher here so that will solve that problem get some more paint and let's put one right about here a little bit of that will make that one so it's really lively and jumping all over the place like that okay now and you can go ahead and clean your brush off we probably won't be using that anymore for a while get it nice and dry i should have a few of them going here is what it should be it'll be a little bit quick for you all to watch so Okay, we'll dry that one off, and what we'll do is we're going to take that one inch brush, and we're going to take the very corner of this brush, and we're going to very easily, very gently, just barely touch the bottom of that cloud. Just barely. Just barely. That's kind of blending it into the cloud. All we're doing is blending that background into the cloud. And we'll do that to each one of them. Barely pushing. Just barely. Kind of blend it in. Just like that. Then all you gotta do is now take the top of my easel off here because it makes it a little bit easier for me, but let's move this up a little bit. As you can see, I missed some of this dark, so I'll fix that now. So I'm gonna dry that off. Clean it. You want to have your brush as dry as you possibly can for this part here. So, what you want to do is very gently just touch the top, give it a little bit of a flick. You want them clouds to pop out just like that, just very gently, not very hard at all, just very gently. Give that little flick. Same up here. A little bit of a flick. Wherever that white is, you can grab it and that will give it some of that 3D dimension. Once you're done with that, draw your, just hit your brush on your rag or whatever and very, very gently. This is the scary part. Just gently. Very gently. Very gently. Just go over the top of it. Very, very gently. Very gently, just like that. As you see, it'll blend them right in nice and pretty. And you have some nice looking fluffy little clouds, just like that. Okay, now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our palette knife. And let's take a little bit more of that crimson, and we're going to add it into the blue. We're going to make a little pile of blue here and some crimson mixed into it. In fact, I'm going to make quite a bit and put just a little bit of black in there again. Nice and good. Now I'll take this palette knife and I wish I could show you on the camera, but I'm not sure I can get the camera to cooperate with me because I can't quite see what's being saw what you can see on the camera but there should be just a little bit of a roll of paint and you're really kind of going at an angle let me see if i can lift this up there we go go just a, get your get it spread out a little bit of a flat like this a little bit of angle pull at an angle just like that and then you get your roll of paint and then what you can do is let's make some mountains so just you want to you really want to push that paint in 
pretty firmly with your knife. So what we'll do is we'll start one right about here. And then you can just make your little bumps wherever you want to. Get your little more paint. You don't have to be perfect or beautiful. We'll make them that way soon. Okay, so wipe your knife off. Now what you want to do is you really want to just pull the paint, scrape it again, and get the bulk of the paint off. Pull it off just like that. Okay, wipe your knife off. And you can set it aside. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this one inch brush <clears throat> and we're going to start right here. We will take and we'll put the edge of the brush right where the mountain is. We're going to pull it down. Just give it a little push and lift the pressure up as you go down to the bottom. Go to the next one. Think about where your mountain is going to be. Just give it a little pull. Like that. Then we'll come over to the other side and we'll go the other direction. We start on the edge. Right over here. Give it a little pull. And go to the next little one. And the next one. Okay. Drag that out a little bit, nice and easily. And I'm going to wash the brush again. So. Old Bob Ross, he likes to do that. Bang them brushes around, make some noise. I kind of like to do it myself. <laughs> he kind of got me hooked on it. Get your brush nice and dry. And we're going to go back to the palette knife again. And what we're going to do is first we're going to do the white. We're going to put some white on the top. We're going to use that knife again. Make sure you a little roll of paint. And all we're going to do is we're going to start. Let's start right in the middle. Let's just go very gently, very gently. Just pull it, just like that. Wipe the knife off. Get you some more paint. Another roll of paint, and do the same thing right here. And you don't want to push very hard because that's when you're going to run into a problem. You got to be very, very gentle with it. Just a little bit over here because we got our lights coming from the right side here. Let me put some in here. There we go. And a little bit over here. Okay. Now, for the darker side, the shadow side, we're going to take some white in that same mountain color, and we're going to mix it together. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit more crimson to it. I want to get that little bit of a, a violet look to it. Just a little bit of a violet look. Give a special look to it. some on my knife and I can take put some right here very gently very gently tie a little bit up in here use the tip of your butt the tip of your knife just touch it in we'll do this one first right here 
This one. Let it just drag. Leave some of them darker spots in here too. Put them dark spots in. I'll get this one over here. Put that one in here. Okay. Let me wipe my knife off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the illusion of mist. This brush really needs to be nice and dry for this process. So make sure you dab it on your paper towel really good. Make sure it's good and dry. And what you want to do is hold the brush up at an angle so that this is not flat like this. It's more of a, at an angle, like about a 45 degree angle. And get below it and hold your easel because it's going to bang it. And Hit it, just hit it. Tap it in real good. Tap it really hard. Just tap it, tap it, tap it. Bring it up, bring it up to wherever you want it to be. Tap, tap, tap. Just keep tapping it. All the way across. Okay, then tap your, tap your brush again. Gently lift up. Just gently. Gently lift up. Follow the grain. Follow the lay of that land. Very gently. Lift up. Just like that. That simple. That simple. Then very gently come across. Just like that. Okay. Now, you can go ahead and wash your brush off. You have to get some more paper towel because I ran out. Do that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the, put some land in there and some little tiny trees. And they're off in the distance, so you don't have to really worry about make them look too much like trees. And all I'm going to use is the fan brush. <coughs> now I'm going to take, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to take some of this uh, sap green. We'll take some sap green and we're going to mix a little bit in with this. Just take a little bit of that blue that we already pre-mixed for the back. Actually, we'll get quite a bit of the sap green. Um, but we still want it to be dark. That's the main thing. We want it to be dark. So what we're going to do is we've got this sap green and dark. You can see it right there. It's basically right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just tap the brush just like this. Push the brush. Give it some space. But I want to make that a little bit darker, though. That's just a little bit too green. Let's make it darker. We want to make it darker. Just like that. There we go. And tap down because we're going to be using part of those trees as a reflection. So we don't want to go down too far. So just tap them. Tap them right in there. Get some of that dark in there too. Tap them right in. Make sure it's good and dark. Not too, we don't want too much green in there. And space them apart. And we'll come all the way over to here. Actually, should be going up and down a little bit there, too. But we'll fix that. Let's go a little bit darker. Put some darker ones in there too. We don't like all them too green, a little bit too green. Kind of making this up in my head as we go along. So we'll go just a little bit more here, no problem. Then we're going to wash our fan brush. That's pretty thick. Wow. 
wipe it off on your paper towel. I'm going to wash it twice because there's a lot of paint in there. Some of my paint's pretty old. I haven't used it in quite a while. Some of it I've been uh, painting with some smaller tubes lately that I wanted to use up. So that's been sitting around for a while. So then what we're going to do is we're going to look at about halfway down and we're going to we can start right in the middle here. Just take and pull it down. Not too, not too firm. We just push it. Pull it down. Just a little bit of a flick. Just like that. Right about where your horizon line is going to be. Just that little bit of a flick. Very gently. Should do it mostly just once. But just a little bit of a flick. Dab that brush off a little bit. Very gently. Go across. Just like that. Very gently. And then you can see what's happening. You get nice reflections in there. You can bring it up a little bit by just bring it up a little bit firmer. And the brush. There you go. Now you got all the nice little reflections right in there. So what I like to do too is take my liner brush. I'll get into some of that Van Dyke Brown. Get some nice paint thinner on your on your brush really good. Put it in your Van Dyke Brown. You can put a little bit of black in there with it. Make it a little bit darker. But it's still brown. And you want it to come to a nice fine point. And then you can come in here and you can put in some little trees. Just put in there. And actually I think I need to be a little bit thinner. A little bit darker. That's not sticking very well. There we go. Any place you want a little tree, just put it in. In fact, you can come right down into the water with them a little bit because you don't want that reflection. And that little tree to give you water too. Get some little brown trees in there, whatever you want. Then I'll clean my brush off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that liquid white and mix it with the with the white over here. A little bit. And then I'm going to, I want to put some little birch trees in there. So I'm going to just put them in. Put some little birch trees in. Not quite enough to keep fighting there. Got me nice and thin. Thin. Sticks on to the thick. So that's what we need to do is make sure that it's thinner than the thick. That's not sticking very well still. Let me get some more paint here. That paint's really thick. I'm not getting quite thin enough. So I'll put a little bit of thinner in there. See if that will help. There we go. Still seems to be a bit thick. You want that to be really, really, you want it to be almost as thin as water. If it's not, it's just not going to come off the brush. Let's try it here and see if that works. Not get too many more of these brushes in. It's not quite thin enough yet. Boy, that paint's really, really pretty thick. You can tell if it's thin enough that the brush hairs are coming apart a little bit. They're not coming off, but they'll be you can see the strands a lot better. They won't be all boggled up with paint. There we go. That's a little better. Here. Paint. It's a little bit big for that tree. It's a big color. 
Let me just clean the brush off. But that one seems to be a bit big, so I'll just take my brush after I clean it. Just go down the side of it and trim it down a little bit, just like that. No problem. Clean the brush, dry it off. Take the same brush again, very gently. You do want to get them other reflections in from them other trees we just put in. Just pull it down again. Just like that. Just in that clean in there, you want that reflection. Very gently go across. Okay. Now, for the edge up here, we'll take a little bit of this white. Some more of this titanium white. And we'll use the knife the same way you did the mountains. Get it spread out there good. Get you a little line, a little roll of paint, and very gently. Just go across the bottom. Get where you, where you want your horizon line to be. For the land, anyway. Don't push it too much there. You can put a few more in here if you want to. Like that. We'll call that. I'll create a pond. A lake, actually. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make some land here. So I think what we'll do is we're just kind of going to come down right in here like this. Keep it kind of simple. So we'll take some of that black Van Dyke brown, mix it in with that blue we had with the with the crimson. Just get a bunch of that paint all together, mix it all in. And we'll take a little bit of sap green in there too. Why not? And we'll just go ahead and we'll just tap it in just like this. Just like that. We just Tap, 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 tap. Just like that. Bring it across all the way over to here. Like that. And we'll make our decision of where we want the other side to be. So we'll just bring it just about here. All the way over to here. Just like that. And we'll just tap, tap, tap. Just keep tapping it in there. Keep it really dark if you can. You know, make it dark. Tap it right in there real good. Just like that. Make sure you get down there little crevices. If you got an easel like this one, make sure you get them right there. it back a little bit more. But we'll just go ahead and clean our brush again. I think it takes longer to clean the brushes sometimes than it does to paint the pictures. <laughs> That's why I have multiple brushes. It's a little bit easier just to have a couple of them going. <laughs> brush off. Then what we'll do is we're going to make some trees. Let's go ahead and make uh, some pine trees. So we'll get some uh, of the same dark color you just used for the base. Put a little bit of Van Dyke brown in there. Maybe a little bit more black. And let's decide where we're going to put some trees. So we'll just pull that down across so it's nice and straight. And we'll put one, eh, why not we'll put one right here. Pull down very gently, like that. 
Making a friend right here. And another friend over here. Let's go get some more sap green in there. And what we'll do is we're going to take the corner of the brush and we'll just, we're going to make sure this is kind of pointed up here, but we'll just barely touch it. And we're just going to go a little bit at a time, push, and let it work out. Just like that. Turn the brush over, dry the paint. Just like that. Get you some more paint and do the next little guy. Try to leave them gaps. You don't want to. You don't want to stay in one spot. You got to move your brush all the time. Move it back and forth. When you stay in one spot, that's when you're going to run into trouble. So I need a little bit more of a thinner line up there. So he's got a big old top on him. Push him back and forth. Brush over a little bit. There we are. So, let's do the same thing to this side. We'll just do a big one right here. And we'll do one. Let's have one that's kind of leaning a little bit right here. Just like that. Don't be afraid of it. Just pull it down. And do the, do the same thing. Start easy. And then add more pressure. Easy, add more pressure. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger, actually, probably. There's going to be two of them. So I'm going to do that. Give them more pressure. Just like that. Now, Let's go ahead and uh, we'll use the knife to make some tree trunks. Just wash your brush off. You don't have to get it perfectly clean right now, but just wash it off for now. And what we'll do is we'll just take some of this Van Dyke Brown and take a little bit of white, lighten it up just a little bit. Leave it a little bit marbly looking be fine get your little knife on it and just touch it a little touch just like that okay just like that Same on the other side. On a smaller roll, don't get too big of a roll. Just, just touch it. Touch it a little bit. Same over here. Some of that will cover with the highlights anyway, so you don't have to be too fussy with it. Just put them there. And what it does is we're going to take some more of this sap green. And we're going to really give it some good highlights with some sap green. I think we'll just add just a tiny bit of okra to it. 
that sharp green and just a tiny bit of okra. Just mix it all up in a pile. Got to do all those trees, so make sure you mix up enough to do all them trees. We'll use some more of that later, I'm sure. Okay. Now we'll take the fan brush again. We'll load it up. Pull it out straight. Now we're going to just touch it just a little bit at a time. Still again. And if that gets a, if that's not sticking very well, just a little bit of that liquid white, just a little bit, just to help thin it out a little bit. We could even use a little bit of thinner if you wanted to. need to be everywhere with it. We want to leave some of them areas where the tree trunks are. And all the way down. Just like that. Got a little bit of white in there. Make sure you move that brush around. It'll, it'll make it look like you got a stacked up tree there or something. We don't want that. Now, if we actually had a light source directly, I mean, it's coming from that side some, but it's still a little bit of a, it's not really an actual sunny day, so otherwise we'd have more on one side than the other. Let's see the other side. And since it's kind of a, a chilly day, it must be getting late fall here or something. Close to that. So we got the highlights in, we got the trunks in, and now we'll work on some grassy areas. You know, let's see, I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put a little path in there if we really wanted to. Walking down to the lake. Yeah, why not? Let's just take some of that other color we had, put a little bit of black in there. The uh, base color, it's got the blue and the green and the black. Let's just take that color. Put a little more black in there. Some Van Dyke brown for the give it a little dirt color. And we could just take and just Scratch it in, basically. It's just, I mean, you can, we can scratch the whole thing in if we want, if we want to. Just like that. These pallets. I mean, this uh, easel's not cooperating with me very much. But right about right there. We'll cover up some of that spot there with the, some spots that we don't like. Just some grass. We'll have this little bit of a pathway here, right around the corner. Wipe your knife off. And we'll just take a little bit of this, a little bit more of this brown in here. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to move this up a little bit, but I really need to get in here with a knife. Sometimes you got to compromise. I just want it up here higher, like this, so that I can... Get to the very edge of it. There we go. So now I can get some. I want to get some of them browns in there that we used earlier for the tree trunk. So now you just very lightly you can just grab some of that brown, pull it along with the dirt, just like that. Like that. Wipe your knife off. Take a little bit of this white, maybe very gently, just a little bit. Up with that path. There we go. Just kind of move it along. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and get some more greens in here. And we're going to go right into the sap green. 
just like this. And we're gonna start up here, we'll just do a little bit of sampling up in here. On the one inch brush, you just tap it in very gently. All the way up to where our path is. I just want to get that little bit of a basey, base color green in there. It doesn't have to be white everywhere, but just get some of it in there. So we can add some highlights to it. Okay, a little bit of green there, a little bit of greener, I should say, greener. Put some up in here. Right over this, over this path. There we go. Just like that. Same with this. I'll leave some of these dark spots in here a little bit, probably. Just like that. Some more green. Okay. Now let's go ahead and leave that right on the brush. Take a little bit of that magic white, put it on your brush, and mix it in with that lighter green you have. You just want to make that a little bit lighter. And then what we're going to do is just very gently just tap in. Now you don't want to keep going everywhere with it. You just want to leave some, leave some of them dark spots. Look at the lay of the land. You want that land, the lay of the land to show up. Just like that. It doesn't take very much, very little. Just the lay of the land. Same with this. Tap it in. There we go. Now I want to give it a little bit more life, so I'm going to take some yellow okra. I'm going to mix some yellow okra in with that light green, a little bit more liquid white. I want to liven that up a little bit more with some more colors. Tap it in there good. And I'm going to just take on the very top here, very gently, tap it in a little bit right here. Just some areas where I can highlight some more of the grass and give it some better, prettier, grassier areas. Like that. Maybe just a little bit more. Now, there's all kinds of things you can add to this too. I mean, you can add more bushes to it, things like that if you want to. Um, tons of things you can keep doing to this thing. But this was mainly just done as a very basic to get you started. I want, wanted you to get something that you could practice painting without overloading you with too many things at one time. So this is probably where we're going to just stop right here. This is a great design. There's nothing wrong with this painting at all. Make a great painting for somebody. Good gift for somebody. At Christmas or whatever you like. But, uh, you could add some, even some birch trees in there. And make it even prettier. You could pop in some birch trees in there too, which would be really nice too. So let's go ahead and we'll take a liner brush. I don't have any red paint, but uh, let me see if I can find it. I thought I had some here somewhere. But uh, I usually sign them in red, but you can sign them in whatever color you like. Take a little bit of red paint. 
as I get the top off it, just like this. We will like that. Take the liner brush, some thinner in it. There we go. Get nice and wet. Very wet. And you can sign your name on the bottom over here. Or wherever you want to. I can sign them right about there. And that way I don't have enough paint. If it looks really too thin, you need to mix in some more paint. That means you got too much thinner on it. We need some more paint in it. See, that's pretty thin on the back. That's why we're having trouble. I probably should have done it thicker. But I'll just do it a couple of times here and we'll get it. There we go. Get some more paint. When it stops working, get some more paint. And it's going to keep doing it by looks. I never had this happen. Okay. And there we go. You have a completed painting. I thank you all for coming to my first lesson. I'll be getting a new camera here soon. So hopefully things will be a lot better. Let me turn this around. Maybe you can see me. And we'll see you all. And happy painting. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, that's what I'm here for. We're here to help. If you have anything that you'd like to be able to paint, let me know in the comments. So please um, feel free to like, comment, and share. And you all have a good day.